we'll, we'll go into a break uh, a breakdown positionally. Um, we do this at the beginning of every single practice. We'll um, set up guards, individual and post individuals. We'll go over what kind of rules that we're gonna uh, we're gonna see. But typically, at the very beginning of the season, we don't even go over the amoeba slides. We will work specifically on fundamentals. Uh, of man-to-man -man concepts uh, because that is the foundation of the amoeba defense. We have to be able to apply on-ball pressure and keep people in front. Our first drill that we're going to be doing is, uh, and we'll just walk through it here to begin with and then we'll get going live, uh, but essentially what we're going to have is uh, two defenders here with a foot in the paint. Uh, we'll have two offensive players uh, on, the, on the outside of the three-point line. Um, the, the coach will end up passing uh, to one of the wings and we get uh, a, a closeout right here. Now when we close out, we want to make sure we are very particular on footwork and we want to make sure that our top foot is above the offensive player's top foot. I think too many people get caught in angles where we kind of open the gate. Uh, so if, if Tara were to open the gate more this way, we would be giving up the baseline. We are not giving up the baseline, but we are forcing to the baseline. So we wanna take him down to, to that area. Uh, so the drill will be the coach passes here to the wing. Once the wing gets it, we hold it for like a one or a two count. She makes a skip pass over to the other wing. So we get another closeout in and we sprint back over into uh, a help side position. She'll hold it for a one or a two count and then she will pass back over. And then once she catches it, she will dribble down to the baseline. Okay, we'll get a dead ball. Coach will pass over to the other wing. She'll bring it down to the baseline and we'll get a stop. So let's go through that here. Okay, um, uh, uh, you know, about, uh, let's, let's, let's get after it. Let's go full speed on this. All right, here we go. Good. Okay, skip pass. Skip. He goes live, he goes live. Good close out. Good, stick with it. Good, okay, here we go. Let's, uh, let's go one more time. One more time and then we'll flip it. One more time and then we'll flip it. Good. Good. Good, Tara. Good, Kiki. Good, take her down. Good. Dead ball, good. Okay, flip it. Nice job, buddy. Okay, flip it. Next two is uh, uh, you guys are on defense. Kiki, you get down to the wing. Okay, same thing. Okay, once it gets dead, we want to make sure that we get uh, on a dead ball. We are uh, with our bottom half tight to the offensive player. Okay, so with the bottom half uh, of our body, we are tight. We are yelling dead and we have active hands once that gets into a dead ball situation. All right, here we go. Good, 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 Kate. Dead, dead, dead. Good. Okay, good. One more time. Okay, and this time, ladies, I want, when it's dead, I want you getting after it. Okay, I want you guys getting after it. Get into it. Okay, here we go. Boom. Skip pass. Good. Skip pass live there. Good. Good, Autumn. Dead, 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 dead. Good. Good job. Okay, that is our, uh, that is one of the closeout drills that we will do at the beginning of, of every single practice. We will go over that. Closeouts, in my opinion, are the hardest thing to do in basketball. So that's something that we want to be very good at. And as you guys, uh, you'll be able to see later on in this video uh, that uh, uh, there's a, quite a bit of opportunities to, to close out. So that's something that we definitely want to be excellent at.